Good positive YouTube, how's it going everybody? Got for you guys today a live battle. Now, I have something that I have to talk to you guys about uh, regarding my uploads for the next three days, up until Monday or Tuesday actually. So if you guys could just hear me out for the next minute or so, I would greatly appreciate that. And you will have your answer, your questions answered. So yeah, anyways, uh, I will be going on vacation Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with my family. Um, unfortunately, due to my frustrating job hours that I had no idea until I left. So apparently I'm on a break right now. I have to go back in like an hour, hour and a half. And I'm really frustrated because I wanted to use this like extended break. Like I thought I was going to get off at 2, then I'd have all afternoon to record. So I can have uploads for you guys this weekend. And that is not the case. I have to go back, as I said, like in an hour or two. Which means I don't exactly have time to record some more videos so at the worst i will have no uploads until monday or tuesday which is frustrating because i was going to use this whole week to upload but literally i mean this whole week to record for the weekend but literally every time or any chance that i saw to record i had a road roadblock pop up or something that interfered with me not being able to record which is the most frustrating thing because one of the things I enjoy most is recording videos for you guys and I was not able to do that which means as I said probably no uploads um, after work I might have some time to record one or two uh, more PS battles but I really wanted to upload a Wi-Fi battle but I don't have enough time to um, record it narrate it and render it so you guys are gonna be stuck with showdown until Monday or Tuesday this most likely this battle, but I'm gonna try my best to at least get another upload for maybe Saturday. That way I can like be like every other day, then come Monday or Tuesday, I can just get back to uploading regularly and all that stuff. And just, yeah, I apologize guys, so hopefully y'all don't mind. But yeah, you guys are here for the video, and if you guys do enjoy this video, then you know what to do. Make sure to hit the like button, guys. The support is greatly, greatly appreciated. And yeah, if you enjoy it, then you know what to do. So I'm gonna be using the same UU team that I was using in my previous uh, UU live the reason being is that I, did, I didn't really get to show off the team plus as i said had well i was really busy basically this week so i didn't really have enough time to make any new teams but yeah this is a team very very fun team uh spadef mew florgus and swamper wall core then voltron core between bandit victini offensive tank ampharos and scarf mancha for late game revenge killing so with that being said, guys, let's uh, get this started because I think that's all. Oh, whoa, whoa, oops. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> but yeah, let's get this started. All right, guys, so we got a battle here, and this dude has a stout land. Um, I don't know why. I'm guessing he's been seeing a lot of Hippowdons, so that could be understandable. Uh, looking at leads, I'm thinking maybe Roserade, and he has no form of Stealth Rocker or Defogger, which is really nice, so... My rocks from Swamper will be here to stay, but I'm worried he might lead off with his Roserade. Actually, I should be able to just lead off with my Victini now that I look at it. Ah, as he ends up leading off with this. Now, the question is though, do I want a V-Create or U-Turn? I'm banded, so U-Turn is still going to do a significant chunk as he turns out to be Scarfed. What? The hell? Okay, that's... I... What? This is EV. Yes, this is indeed EV. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, this is Scarf Roserade. Um. Okay then. Cause I'm yeah I'm jolly. If this is not scarfed, I will be highly highly upset. Cause there's literally no reason for his Roserade to outspeed me outside of him being scarfed. I have never seen Scarf Roserade, I'm going to say that right now. <laughs> so, that's that really, really caught me off guard there. As he brings in the Slowbro, I should be able to switch just right into my Ampharos. As he makes a nice play, goes for the Toxic. Uh, this isn't too big of a video, considering I do have Aromatherapy. So, I'm going to go ahead and Mega Evolve and just Volt Switch, because I literally lose nothing in doing so. Not to mention that he has no Ground Type on his team, so this is really great for me. As I'm going to be able to Volt Switch on out from this Florgus, and the question is... Uh, do I want to bring in Floor? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Do I want to bring in Victini or right into my own Florgus? Um, if I bring in Victini, I put offensive pressure, and as long as I keep up offensive pressure, I can just keep wearing down his Florgus. So 
I'm in a position where I think I lose nothing by just V creating. That's what I'm gonna do. Although the switch in the slow bro is obvious, it's still just my safe and best play to do in this situation. As I get off a decent little chunk little of damage, um, let's see, let's see. I feel that I lose nothing by just switching back into Ampharos this turn. As he makes a nice play, just goes for Skull and I'm, and we're back at the beginning where I can just safely Volt Switch once more. And this is, oh, Mega Ampharos and Victini are just such an amazing wall core. You guys have no idea. So due to the fact that that Rosary was offensive, my Volt Switch is strong enough to knock him out. Which is really great. And looking at his team, I think Swampert is actually my best switch in. Because if I bring in Manchild, that baits him to bring in Florgus. If I bring in my Florgus, that baits him to bring in the uh, Haunch, Crow, Lucario, or even Stoutland. Um, if I bring in Victini, I bait him to bring in Haunch, Crow. If I bring in Mew, I bait him to bring in Haunch, Crow as well. So yeah, I think just Swampert is my best middle ground play. Plus I have Roar, and I have Earthquake and Scald, so I'm not in a bad position. And I can take any hit from all three of his physical attackers. Although that might be Nasty Plot Lucario. So have to watch out for that one. As he, okay, you know what? This thing is getting rather annoying. Um, I want a Scald to try to burn him, but at that point, it'd just be better to switch into my Mew to synchronize the Toxic. I mean, yeah. Um, there's a chance he might predict me to switch back into my Ampharos. I think what I'm going to do is make the safer play and bring in my, my uh, thing. This is my thing. My Florgus, that is my thing. <laughs> um, he ends up getting the burn, which I'm fine with considering the fact that I can just go safely for, for an aromatherapy. Um, if he does want to go for the Toxic this turn, that would actually not be a bad play on his part because it's very evident that I want to go for the aromatherapy because my team is getting worn down. So let's see, he does... Oh, he actually ends up going for the Psy Shock, but because I'm physically defensive, I take the hit like an absolute beast. And I'm going to take this turn to switch into my Mew because... I have to get this thing toxic. It's just getting really annoying at this point. So that's very nice. Now I have a way of being able to wear down this slow bro. Plus that turn that he does use to go for the aromatherapy I can use to my advantage. Um, I'm going to switch right into my Ampharos this turn. See what he wants to do. As he brings in the Florgus. Ah. Wait, wait, is he faster than me is the question. Yes, holy shit, he's much faster than me. I don't think he's going to Moonblast, though. Hmm. I'm, yeah, I'm going to Volt Switch. Oh, he did Moonblast. Crap. Ah, oh, completely mispredicted that turn. Completely mispredicted. As I can bring in Victini. You know what? I'm just going to go for the Bolt Strike. Yeah, because he's been playing way too obvious with the Slowbro. Ah, look at that. <laughs> this is, oh my lord. Uh, can we get a nice hit KO? His team gets destroyed by um, by my attacks now. As he brings in the Lucario, I'm going to switch right into team player. Because even if he ends up SDing, oh crap, he has nasty plot shit. Okay. Uh, gonna Earthquake. Gonna make a risky play. As I live, thankfully. Oh, it just died. Wow, I was not expecting that one. And he's going to bring in the Haunch Crow. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. This is no bueno. I'm going to have to rely on Mew hitting Will-O-Wisp. A worst case scenario, I trick him the Scarf, but then... It'll just come down to a stall war between his Florgus and my Florgus, and it just... Oh, I have to Scald. I cannot mess around with this thing. Actually, what I'm going to do is go for a Roar on the off chance that for some reason he sucker punches, or if I am able to live, I can just get rid of him right there. Unfortunately, that is not the case. As I'm going to be forced to bring in my Mew, I do have enough speed to outspeed this thing. So going to go straight for the Will-O-Wisp as I can now get two chances. And I miss my first Willow. Let's try this again. Oh, he's... Wait, what? He's Jolly. Shit. Oh. Well, I guess at this point I don't really need my... 
my Ampharos. Uh, I'm gonna go for my hardest hitting move, which is uh, Thunderbolt. It's fine though, because he dies off to Life Orb. So yeah, if he was Adamant, then my Mew would have outsped him there. Uh, I'm worried about that Stoutland. I don't want to say that it's Scarf, but it could possibly be Scarfed. I think his best Pokemon to switch in is Florgus. But I think I lose nothing by just bringing in Manchow. Ah, yes! Good. Good, good, good. I might... Actually, what I'm going to do is knock off to be on the safe side because all I need to do is get a free switch into Victini. So yeah, I'm going to knock off. As he turns out to be a Salt Vest. Okay. Ends up going for the player off. That is fine. I, I said that is fine. <laughs> That's fine. And now Victini can just come in. I can uh, safely V-create and I should be able to... Uh, win the game oh crap if he has pursuit that's bad oh, okay thank you no pursuit no pursuit no pursuit and moonblast will be able to knock him out and i'm very positive this thing does not get the uh suker punch so yeah that is going to be the 1-0 victory in my favor <laughs> wow this battle ended up being a lot closer than i thought it would be uh then again that a haunch crow uh, really opened up my team for him to uh, destroy me practically. Uh, GG, that was definitely a fun game. And because I'm banded, that's a guarantee Oko. So yeah, uh, Volter between Victini and Ampharos is just really, really good. I would definitely recommend you guys to use this Volter and Core. They just work um, phenomenal together. But yeah, guys, that is a team. I really, really do enjoy this team. It's very balanced, very... They, they, f they fit each other's roles perfectly and cover each other's weaknesses. But yeah, as I said at the beginning, guys, on the off chance that I do not upload until Monday or Tuesday, it's just because I am on vacation and literally everything came up when I was trying to record and when I had a chance to record. But yeah, with that being said, I will see you all hopefully Saturday if I can record something tonight. If not, then I will see you all Monday or Tuesday. And if you did enjoy, then make sure to hit the like button, guys. So yeah, I'll see you all soon. Later, everybody.